you collaborated with Lizzo. Yes. Oh, and it was kind of like before. I mean, Lizzo was has been around, but like I feel like this past summer it yeah. really blew up. The world is hers. Yeah. yeah. Did you see that coming? Um, yes. Yeah. I did. Um, but I know, you know, we've known each other for a while. Like, she's definitely been like doing her thing for yeah. a while, you know, and um, she is definitely. I mean, I think it's really inspiring because she's always been somebody who has like had this same message she's been herself since day one and she's somebody who hasn't um you know like changed who she is or sacrificed what she believes in to get to where she is and i think that's really awesome and really cool and i'm i'm so happy for her um and also i'm happy i like got in there and yeah yeah. got a song with her (laughs) yeah yeah seriously i don't know if i'd be up on the top (laughs) top list now oh i i i I think you would i think well Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also want to talk about how when you first started out, you were posting on MySpace, and obviously social media is so big now. Mm. What is the biggest difference to you? Um, I think it's more like serious now. Yeah, you know, it's more social media when in the MySpace days, yeah. you know, <laughs> back in the day, was kind of less about it being like a business so to speak you know and more right. about like i'm a band and i've got a myspace and that's right. kind of it but now it's you know it's instagram and twitter and whatever it's so like it's very serious it's yeah. very like this is my brand this is my strategy this is my content i'm relatable and aspirational right. it's more it's like you have to take it more seriously people on it are like more angry mm-hmm. you can get in touch with people in more ways to tell them they're doing something wrong you know right. it's pretty intense out yeah. there yeah instead social of just media. like posting a song just yeah you can't do anything it. right you can't like do anything right yeah anymore you're always doing something wrong right it's, it's kind cool. of stressful it is way crazier but obviously. then it's fun it is fun to i Connect. find it fun to um you know chat with my fans like they have really good taste they put me on to um, a lot of new artists and I feel I really do feel very connected th- with them which yeah. is cool and it's fun to be like trolly too I think yeah. you know yeah. not, in, <laughs> not in, troll people not back. in like a mean cyberbullying right. way like not mm-hmm. in that yeah. kind of way just in a way where I'm like joke around make yeah fun of yourself, i repost too. the memes yeah. like right. i'm all about it yeah like, just <laughs> yeah. Go, let's if we're gonna like rip into me i want to be a part of it too mm-hmm. you know yeah. yeah i feel that it's like if we're all going to be on social media might as well just enjoy the fun parts about it enjoy it yeah, yeah. yeah. totally for and sure so your third album charlie has been out for a little over a month now yes what has the response been to that album because it's fantastic thank you um it's been really good like um you know the, my my fans seem to really like it which is great um and yeah i think the response has been cool like meeting people at the shows people are like saying nice things you know that they relate to the songs which is cool because for me it's definitely my most personal album which i'm aware is the most unoriginal statement right. you've ever heard <laughs> in your life um but yeah it's just like i felt comfortable on this album to kind of delve into topics that hadn't really spoken about before including um my mental health and um my feelings of kind of insecurity and like doubt in myself in certain situations in life and um you know i wasn't really consciously thinking about oh i'm gonna make an album about these things it just kind of happened yeah and the response to that aspect of it has been really positive because I feel like everybody is kind of going through aspects of that type of thing in day-to-day life every day. So, um, yeah, it's nice that that kind of spoke to people. Yeah, Yeah. it's really cool. I mean, on top of that, the album art for this is gorgeous. Thank you. What, What was, like the creative process on that yeah i mean it funnily enough it wasn't super thought out yeah it wasn't like i went to set and was like hey i'm taking off my clothes (laughs) it was definitely more thought out than that but it was kind of just like yeah i didn't overthink it i just it felt right to be nude on the cover Mm -hmm. in part because it's the most personal record that i've made Mm -hmm. and so i kind of wanted it to be very literally stripped back 
Um, but also I think for me, um, the body is like a symbol of strength and a female body is to me, it feels very powerful and strong. And, um, I was kind of seeing it from that type of an angle, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I I love that. 